When you're a member of the Colombian Air Force who does airborne missions, parachuting is necessary for survival. Well, dogs are no exception. CCTV correspondent Michelle Bege has this special report on Colombia's parachuting dogs. Okay. Three-year-old Rose is like any other dog. This Belgian Malinois wants to play fetch and loves attention and affection. But Rose also has a daredevil side. She is a parachute-trained search and rescue dog working with Colombia's Air Force. She has jumped seven times with Deputy Chief Carlos Piñeros from 4,200 meters up in the air. Piñeros says his partner gets nervous, just like any human, mostly from the noise the jet makes. I have to relax her. I do doga, which is yoga for dogs. With my breathing and by keeping calm, I transmit that to her, and she is relaxed, aware but without stress. For 27 years, the Colombian Air Force has trained dogs of various breeds for special operations. Some can sniff out drugs, bombs, and even detect foreign currency, specifically dollar bills. Bella is just like Rose. She is a rescue dog, but she also will attack upon command and release. Hopefully, she will release in this demonstration. The dogs are bred and trained in an Air Force base outside of Bogota, known as the Palace of Dogs. Sí, hay muchísima gente. Air Force veterinarian and trainer Wilmer Andres Antolines says the most playful dogs are the easiest to train. We have a motto, consistency, patience, and perseverance. Those three words are what our guides should practice to work with their canine partner. But why parachute jumping dogs? Major Bayardo Jose Rodriguez says Colombia's rocky terrain in the middle of the Andes Mountains makes it impossible to land aircraft to get help to anyone quickly. Rescuers have to parachute in. Y en muchos lugares de, de la geografía es muy complicado que el, eh, por otro medio de transporte, ya sea helicoportado. In many parts of our geography, it is complicated for our armed services to reach by certain methods of transportation, be it by land or helicopter. So we found the need for different specialized dogs to be able to reach those remote areas. Tuvieran que llegar a esas zonas. Arriba. After 10 years of loyal service, the dogs retire. Officials say they try to place them in a loving home where they get a much-deserved rest. Eso es muy bien. Michelle Bigue, CCTV, Colombia.